Welcome back to 8-Bit Home, archiving clips for part 2 of Carl. First thing I want to do is bring up Chuck, the cybernetic honcho of utilitarian construction and killing. Sounds like a nice guy. First thing about the bosses in this game, each one will give you a power-up of sorts. And the power-up Chuck gives you is the double jump. You can see him use it during the boss fight when he jumps up into that piece of equipment. He basically jumps around and throws objects at you, including health wrenches at random, and then orders these mini drones to come after you. As long as you've upgraded at least once, he's beatable and not bad if you found all the medals up to this point. That was my issue on my first playthrough in September of last year. I hadn't upgraded and he was very difficult. But now, we'll head into episode 2 of our playthrough. Now, to get to the next section, you can't get it. Without a double jump, you can't get up here. So that's how they keep you from getting to the next. Or the next area, as I should say, is you don't have the move to get to that area. I love that the music sounds different until Carl puts his headphones on. I noticed something close to the wall. Welcome, trainees! You've been assigned to our beatbox program due to a lack of productivity. Here you will find a multitude of practice areas to hone your offense, offensive tactics. Warning, if you are not waterproof, please do not immerse yourselves in our pool. If you do, we have to get out, get the pool met out, and go to fill out a bunch of forms as well, and start this one. If you do, we have to get out if you do, we have to get out the pool net and fill out a bunch of forms. It's a whole thing. Just don't get your circuit fried. Okay? Thanks and welcome to KI Fitness. That's the first thing I do is get the water. So water doesn't hurt you like as much as lava. Well. Alright. I could have made that, but... So yes, this, um... World 2 is a lot more, like... I don't know, crazy jumps and stuff. There are a lot of spikes. Oh, and these little arenas, I guess, I don't know what else to call them, where the door won't open until you take out all the enemies in the room. There it is. There we go. 
I apologize. We found it. This will probably be a compact disc. Or thing. Being uh, a game. An arcade game. I didn't show that off yet. like before, I probably won't do a whole lot of upgrades until we get right before the boss and just save up the scrap and all the other parts. Two, two. Um, so, yeah, health piece and a metal. These little platforms, obviously, you hit them, and they, uh, the button makes them stick. I don't stay flipped for very long. This is kind of a meaner section. There we go. Trying to fall all the way through there. Not hit any of those spikes. Bob, it's 
rescued. Oh man, that was awful. Thanks for helping me out of the, out of the jam. two things I needed in the speedrun, so. Yeah, 
forget when that one's coming. There, I promise. Thumbs up. It's not bad. It's just... There. That's that one. Now you don't want to get the blue one yet. If you do, you'll land on the exit. Back down here. Okay. Here. And get the last
Mysterious door won't open. Any of those doors that you see, they almost have that. And there is a reason they will. You have to back and do a half a piece of health. I don't think there's anything left to hurt us, but might as well get it. This boss. What time is it? 41. You know what? For a first stream back, yeah, we'll fight that boss. We'll get our upgrades. We'll call it a day. I was thinking about getting more water, but if all we're doing is fight, oh, we gotta get our upgrades first. Other way around. I apologize. I do that too much. Go in here. Looking for an upgrade. Yes. Want more shot power. With our thousand. That will burn right through. Uh, scrap. We complete with the burn upgrade. Close the shot level. Yeah, I want to do at least one of those. So.
You're really persistent, huh? Listen, I appreciate the effort, but I've got work to do. Just saying hi. Let's get you fixed up. Uh, I want all... Yeah, I don't want that thing, but I do want the help launches. They're free. Or two rows of wrenches. might do the first level in the next world, just to... Eh, maybe we should save that in our own spot. Let's just do this right, it's easier if I go this way. Oh, and we didn't talk to our bomb. Alright, I guess we'll get this way. There he is. Hey Carl, nice to see you again. I feel like I'm always getting pushed around, thanks for sticking up for me. Miss, which because I don't need it for the speed run, but notice is posted on the wall. Hey shrimps, stay out of my private gym or else. Got it? Not that any of you can make it through my specialized training regimen anyway. That being said, if you do manage to make it to the bottom, I'll show you my workout routine firsthand. Your personal hero and fitness guru. So this is a lot like the other one. Have a... I think that one's going to be faster. i got to keep track of which way these things go. Should have skipped leg day. Alright, alright, you win. Big's out. <laughs> this is what I get for underestimating a threat, I suppose. This is what I get for underestimating a threat, I suppose. Charlotte, the time has come to prove yourself. 
big to approach this without nuance. I trust you'll succeed where he failed. Are you ready? Of course, boss. You can count on me. See ya. <laughs> Seems Biggs has dropped a compact disc. Nice job, Carl. You got another golden tech unit. Looks like this one should be able to give you some sort of ground pounding capability. Fascinating. No time to waste. Come visit me and I'll get you upgraded. Post haste. See you soon. So yeah, we'll take care of that. And that's what I meant when I said upgrade. So let's get that. Done. Oops, we're over here. Oh, there's the Hello, Carl. Now, what have we got here? Amazing. The design is even more ingenious than the last. Forgive me, Carl. I'm reminded again of Dr. Ken of the Dr. Kent I used to call my colleague. For years, we were an unstoppable duo in the advanced in the field of advanced robotics. We made some truly revolutionary machines that helped countless people and even saved lives. Then, day by day, he started to become increasingly involved in more nefarious projects. It was as if something evil just came over him, and in the end, it cost me my oldest and dearest friendship. Ah, my apologies. You've caught me rambling again. Let's go ahead and install this new that new module. Aha! Eureka! Congrats, Carl! You now have the power of ground pounding. Let's see here. Press B to jump and press down while midair to slam the ground with a powerful attack. It should help you reach even deeper areas of the facility. Good luck, Carl. The only one of my minor complaints about this game ground pound, is that it does not show me how much uh, scrap I have just standing around with it. It might here if I just don't move. Say. Yep, 424. Cool. So we can come up here. Need a help unit to install anyway. And then reinforced chassis. Yes. After this is the reinforced chassis is installed. Uh, wow. After the reinforced chassis is installed, incoming damage will be have. So all done. Hence minions, better watch out. Uh, we won't play any of it, but that's what you need the ground pound for. We'll play that next time. Maybe the next stream. I don't know when that will be. Hopefully next Saturday or earlier. Um, if I talk to you, we move. But this is Carl. Welcome back, pal. You sure made short work of bigs, huh? We never knew. We to him and he never knew what hit him. Next up is the repair bay. It would be war. Not many robots have made it back from one piece. You can get there from the southeast corridor, but you'll need to smash the crates block in the way. I have to talk to him more often. He must give me more things. And last thing we'll do is we'll go through the trading cards that we may have gotten this uh, round. As we saw Carl How Helpful automation for Leedits. This friendly fellow helps newly discarded robots find their way in the dump. Rumor has it he was the first android to voluntarily defect from Kent's army. Likes making friends, telling stories, and playing poker. Dislikes the new new car set. Doug, we read. Madame, machine learning android of divination, div divination, amusement, and magic. Madame is a highly advanced android with significantly restricted mobility. She uses complex data models to practically predict the future. Likes crystal oscillators. Mystic heuristics. Dislikes. Complete data sets. Aaron and Wendy, resistant members. The audiometric analysis and recognition operative, nonverbal, and weapons, explosives, and non lethal defensive defenses instructor. They uphold day to day duties as part of the robotic resistance. Like classified intelligence, dossiers dislike their dastardly creator. 
gleam, I think be red, right? Yes. Bob, buoyant orb bot. This poor guy is always getting tossed around. But hey, on the bright side, he's rated IP68 water resistant. Likes walks on the beach in heart shaped balloons. Dislikes being compared to fast food mascots. I think. Uh, Chuck. Cybernetic honcho of utilitarian construction and killing. This formidable foreman is the boss of the factory floor. He was built by Dr. Kent to lead his militarized android army with practical business sense and a real go-get-em attitude. Likes submissive functionality. Wow, I read that completely wrong. I'm sorry. Likes subservice, punctuality, and productivity. Dislikes vacations, unions, and regulations. Just, you know, corporations. Herman Brent, intrepid engineer. Herman is a brilliant robotics engineer and a hobbyist programmer. He sent, or he sent Carl into his former partner's clandestine compound in order to keep tabs on Dr. Kent's evolving likes. You, dislikes threats to humanity. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for more people. Hey, I'm Sophie. That stands for Sym Symbiotic Organizer of Philosophical Inquiries. And I'm Phil, the processor of hypothetical intelligence and logic. We were designed to find faults in Kent's plan and consider possible issues that would cause failure. But we when we told him there was a 92% chance that a little utility bot would set steal all of his tech and foil his plans, he thought we were defective and threw us down here in the ground. Have. I'm not gonna do a whole lot here, but I will show you the game modules totally. So we'll do Carl Laga, which is I think Galaga. Or it's no. down here in the, uh, oh, this is actually picking me up to, we'll meet that dude, we can do that really quick, because we, just, we can get down here. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Hey there, friend. I'm Craig. Did you know robots can be depressed, too? I smoked I did nothing but lie in bed and eat hot sprockets. Probably not delivering that properly, but yeah, he, he's a comedian robot. But anyway, I will go ahead and probably end it here. Um, thank you so much for being here or watching, and uh, again, hopefully I'll start streaming some more again. I want to, you know, at least do Saturdays again, like I was seven or eight months ago. But yeah, I want to get back into that, and um, yeah, I did not, well, it's probably a good thing for the first one, I was very nervous at first and whatnot, but yeah, I didn't post that I was streaming anywhere or anything, but we'll bring that back again next time. Um, if you hear any weird noises, the washers vibrate the whole house, so I'm sorry for that, the washing machine. But on that note, um...
Sky. Thank you so much for being here and have a great night and week.